Q103, Albany's Rock Station. Flounder here on the phone with a guy who is going to be here this Sunday night at the Hollow down on Pearl Street. It's Danny Warsnop from We Are Harlot. How you doing, man? I'm present. I'm good. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing excellent, man. Can't wait to see you this Sunday night and uh, finally see you all plugged in live in front of my face. Oh. So I've been, uh, I've been thinking about how this show is going to be, and my, my first question about this is how many pairs of clean underwear am, am I going to need for this show? Oh, I, I'll be honest. Don't even bring it. Don't even bother wearing anything. It's, it's, you're, you're fighting a losing battle. <laughs> just, just commandos the way. I mean, as old Rolling Stones, there ain't, ain't going to be a dry seat in the house. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm going to bring something to test that with. I'll have a mop and a bucket along with me. <laughs> <laughs> just set, like, paper towels down on everyone's seat to see what's absorbed. It, it'll look a little bit like the uh, the kill room in the, in the show Dexter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no. Wait. <laughs> this, this ain't a menstrual show. Oh, but it'll it'll still uh, absorb at least, right? Yeah, but you know it'll be clear. <laughs> not, so much, not so much on the red side. Uh, I, I hope not, unless it's going to be like a watermelon smashing kind of thing. You, know, you brought the you brought the kill room. I did. This is all my fault. I I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna have to figure. All right. How can I how can I make this better? What specific things are you going to need to start this show? Do you need like a goblet of brown M and M's or strip club lobster? I'll, I'll be honest. Um, I I've, I have put weird stuff on my riders before, mainly just because um, I feel like as uh, as an entertainer and rock star, you try and push the limits because you kind of you get handed so much stuff, so you gotta test the limits of what you can get away with. Right. So I think that's where the whole weird stuff on the rider comes from. And yeah, we've had sort of like sex dolls and <laughs> enormous dildos that are probably too large to find that end up being used to drum solos and stuff. <laughs> so you've asked for these weird things and then shown up somewhere and gone, I, I can't believe they actually found this. Oh, yeah. Um, I remember the first, I remember, well, it was one of the first times I did it. Um, the runner chicks, I was like, I can't believe you actually went to that. She's like this little adorable girl. And. Um, he was like, yeah, well, I asked, I asked the promoter if it was a joke or not, and he said, well, you can look at it two ways. Either it's a joke, and if you don't get it, they're not going to care, or they actually need it for the show, and if you don't get it, you ruin the show. So get it. Yeah. Another question just personally for myself about this show on Sunday at the Hollow uh, with We Are Harlot. Uh, is it completely uncool of me to wear a We Are Harlot shirt to the show? Absolutely. It's mandatory. It's man- I should be wearing it. You guys, you guys actually did send us some shirts, and I will, uh, I will once again don the shirt for the show this Sunday. Then, absolutely, I want to take a picture with you in it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do, we'll do more pictures. Your picture last time, I can't even show anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we gotta bring you guys on stage and take one big group picture with us in the crowd. I'm, I'm completely for that, Danny. You know, I'll do anything you want me to do, which is probably the worst thing I could tell you. That, that is a very dangerous. Thing. Extremely dangerous. As soon as I said it. <laughs> You guys have been out and about on the festivals. You guys are a band born of festivals. Uh, where, what kind of what have what have the festivals been this year for you? They've been great. Um, I mean, it's, it's always been enormous crowds, and everyone's, everyone's had a great time. I mean, we've just almost finished with the uh, circuit of festivals. We've got a couple more later in the year, and then we've done um, the world tour of festivals. But yeah, it's a blast. I mean, it's free food and booze, and you get to see all your friends every day, and get to play to people who wouldn't necessarily end up at your show. So. It's, Great opportunity every time. Have you have you found anything that has been like a specifically one song that stood out as like a, a really fun song for you to play live? Is it one that just this is the one I'm waiting I mean, for to play every night? There's, there's a few. I mean, the one always goes down incredibly. I mean, it's pretty funky, dance along, everyone jump around, have a good time, and move. Uh, tune dancing on nails is always fun because we always we always mess around with the ending and we make it kind of a little bluesy swing thing. Oh, cool. Um, what else? I'll be honest. We all just wait for the first. Uh, the, our intro to start just because it means we get to go do our thing. You just want to do all the songs. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Uh, last time you were here for our listener lounge, uh, you happened yeah. to do perhaps one uh, little song as a character from the Lord of the Rings, uh, Gollum. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, we were wondering if there's uh, any chance of uh, getting a repeat of that or if you had other maybe voices that you can impersonate for a song. I have, I, I, listen, I have a lot of characters. Most of them are just my own characters. <laughs> um, I've, been in, I've, I've been kind of terrifying my missus with one lately because um, I've come up with a new character who only just follows her from the elevator. Oh, no. <laughs> He's a real creepy guy. Is your new and character a stalker? Yeah, every time. <laughs> 
every time we get out, you know, they, uh, I, I just kind of creep up real close back and it's like, it's okay, I'm, I'm, I just started on you. I come inside the house. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, no, shh, shut, shut your mouth. That's okay. I, I come to you. I come inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> to run away but, you come back and come inside the house I'm coming in the house <laughs> have any of your neighbors thought like I need to get in the middle of this or do they just like oh they're the war snobs again my <laughs> my neighbors have seen some pretty weird stuff I had some friends coming over and she went down to get them in our apartment building and they were coming around the corner and I was like I don't know what I'm going to do I'm going to get up on the wall and do that twerk thing that all the kids have been doing lately <laughs> Because I heard him coming around the corner. Yeah. Now, I went up and started doing it, and to my horror, it wasn't men. Oh, no. Some new people moving in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, who's, this, who's this fucking rock guy running around? All these guitars and cool stuff and all these plaques. I'm just working on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't I seen this guy somewhere before, and now here he is twerking? Right? There's, like, we get magazines delivered, and like, there's my face. Out front of our place, <laughs> and then there's me twerking on the wall. Isn't isn't that guy twerking <laughs> the guy on my magazine cover? Oh man! <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just confused because they don't know what, what I'm famous for now. <laughs> it's like, twerking, they, obviously. They going, this guy's a musician. Then they're like, "There's no way this guy's a musician." <laughs> <laughs> so they're just they're just yeah, they don't know what's going on. Well, I, I'm uh, I'm confused by all of it as well, and, and kind of actually wish I had gotten to see you uh, twerk around the corner to somebody yeah, not knowing. Can we do Can we do that? I'll shake it, Tim. I'll shake it, Tim. <laughs> okay, that's that sounds like a promise to me, uh, Danny. I can't wait to see you guys this Sunday night at the Hollow down on Pearl Street. There are still tickets available if people want to grab them. We've got the the links and details all up at q103albany.com. Oh, let's, well, let's let's do this right now. In the spirit of having the stuff on the station, let's do a giveaway. You want to give away some tickets now? Let's do a giveaway. As you wish. Let's Danny Warsnop says Let's tickets. Go. We do it. 476-1039. Caller 13 will hook you up with a pair of tickets to go see We Are Harlot this Sunday at The Hollow. Danny, we will see you this Sunday night. Can't wait for one hell of a show. We will see you all there.